Hi, my name is Laura Gilson and I'm 21 years old. Recently I interviewed a band called Natives in August at New Age Festival which was a really amazing experience. I spoke about it quite a bit on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Um, recently I saw them live again in Plymouth on supporting Blitz Kids on their tour and I've come to know them quite well musically wise and sort of in a very small way as people I mean of course they're people they're just like anyone else except they just create amazing music and um, I want to review them again I reviewed their live performance almost a year ago coming up to a year ago and I found over the months that I've seen them live, how much I feel they have progressed and changed. Because when I first saw them in March supporting Blood Bleach, the poster is just up there. I have them all at the top signed by most of natives or all of natives. And I feel they've just progressed so much because their live performance when I saw them on that tour of Blood Bleach was incredible. They knew how to engage with the audience and they got the audience involved. They got, they had just had this way of making people feel like they should get into this band and sh they should participate. And even if people didn't know natives at that point or were fans of them when they went to that gig, they still got those people involved. And that's quite amazing. Um, when I first saw them, I thought they were really good. And I thought Jim was a very, very confident and inspiring frontman. And I was quite surprised because when I interviewed Jack and Jim from Natives at New Age, I sort of felt that Jim was quite shy and awkward, like me. And that's just made me love him even more because he still gets up on stage and he's centre of attention. That's that's what he wants. That's his job role. Like he's centre of attention and he's the one that speaks the most on stage and he's the one that engages the audience. And I find that amazing because it gives me a sense of hope that I can I can do that I can I can get better at public speaking I can conquer like how awkward and shy I feel and how closed off I get from the world and um Jim's vocals since Blood Bleach that tour of Blood Bleach I feel they've improved so much the recent cover of what it feels like I was just I had so many different feelings about it. It was just, it's a really beautiful cover. If you haven't listened to it, you need to go get their EP, The Horizon. Um, they've just recently released um, a video for The Horizon as well, which was really fun to watch. And I really enjoyed that. Um, but going back to reviewing them as a band and as their live performance, since Blood Bleach, I feel they've come such a long way. They've grown even more since... I got into them and found them via Sophie and I think that's amazing but also as people they're still the same as what they were when I first got into them they still talk to you they're happy to take selfies with you and recently I gave Jack and Jim letters at the Plymouth show and Jack tweeted me a load of replies regarding my letter and that was such an amazing thing for me and I'm just so happy about that. I mean, um, yeah, I think as people there's such amazing people. There's someone who you can look up to. There's someone who are good role models. They're just amazing and regarding live performance they've grown so much they they've just come such a long way and 
oh my god, I I just get so excited when I listen to them. I get so excited when I know they're touring again and they're also doing another tour in February. So you should really go check them out. You should just buy tickets and go. It's such a great time. It's like it's like just going to a party with your friends and really enjoying yourself and that's amazing. So yeah. Um but in terms of live performance they just they're just so strong live. Um I mean vocally Jim is such an amazing vocalist. He's he's got such a different voice to anyone else I've ever heard and that's and that's such a strong feature and he's proven via that cover of what's it feel like that he can cover anything that they can do anything and they can do it really well and I didn't doubt that to start I didn't doubt that at all not for one minute or to start with or anything and I'm just I just love this band so much and when I see them live it's great because they've got such great stage presence they've they know not to sort of cram themselves up and they've got room and you can see everyone and you can see what they're doing and I love the fact that although Andy's the drummer and Jack's one of the guitarists I love how um they 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 do they change roles because when if you've if you've ever seen Natives Live you'll know that Jack and Jim play the drums as well on stage they have them set up they have the main drums at the back and that's where Andy normally resides and then they've got some more on the side where Jim and Jack play at the same time and that's so much fun to watch it's one of my favorite parts of Native's live setup um, but if you watch some of the other covers or some of the acoustic stuff they do on um, their YouTube you, you sometimes like um, in the in the in the in the recorded um video they've just released for what's it feel like the the cover I was talking about um Andy's actually playing guitar and Jack's playing piano so it shows that as musicians they're very they're very strong and they're very capable of changing around their positions and not being restricted to just one item like one oh my god what's the word like one Oh my god. One instrument, that's it. <laughs> so that's that that's really fun to see because it's sort of like one day I just hope that natives sort of do this private acoustic set where you have to win or something or they give it out to so many people who's like pre ordered something or other and that would be amazing. But yeah, um it's just amazing because they show that they're just so capable and talented enough to be able to switch instruments and sh like shape things up and make it different and that's what I love about them because no live performance by them's the same because each time it's different because they've grown more since the last time you've seen them and they and their confidence on stage shows but when you talk to them in person they're just amazing to come up to they're just so friendly and down to earth and that's what makes me love them more is the fact that they're still approachable that they, they know they're good but they also know that they they're not egotistical they're not like some celebrities where they just don't care about the fans or anything like that it's completely different and like the natives community is so good like I've built up a good friendship now with one of the girls behind Team Natives and like some of their fans are just so lovely and it's re it's a really nice gig environment. It's like you're all just this one big crowd ready to dance to your favourite band. It's amazing. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Natives, I think you should. I think you should just go buy their new EP or download it. I can't remember if it's free or not. Because I'm, I'm so good at this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think you guys should just like check them out. Check check their YouTube, their Facebook, their Twitters. You can follow 
the band and the band members their individual twitters so yeah go check them out until next time bye